Okay, so this video is going to show you how you can save to a text file, but it's gonna be more similar to a use case I think you actually want, which is that you've got a game with a bunch of objects, um, and we're gonna save all the information about those objects to a file, so that way we can reload the saved game state. Um, I thought about starting off with code, but actually I thought maybe it would be more instructive just to build it right now. Um, so if you want to, I'll leave the time code of just the saving to the file part um, in the description. Um, but I think it might be nice to kind of see what I'm doing. So here I've got a P applet or, or a class that extends P applet, um, and I've got the size. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that whenever I'm dragging the mouse, I'm creating little point objects um, and saving them into a, an array list. So let's make just that much. So I'm going to have an array list of point objects, which I'll call point list. And I know I need to initialize it, so I'll say new array list point, and it will will import array list point doesn't exist yet. That's a class I'm going to make, um, but a point just represents a two dimensional like set of coordinates on the screen. Um, why don't I like point list here? Oh yeah, okay, great. So that well, I guess let's go ahead and make the point class right now just to fix that problem. So. I'll say new class point. And in the point class, a point is going to have an x and a y coordinate that will be float. Um, you might not know this, but you can actually auto-generate um, all the various things that you want to auto-generate. So I'm going to auto-generate a constructor right now. And there it is. And now I'm going to auto-generate getters and setters for x and y. And there we go. So now I've got like a nice point class it's got an X and a Y, don't need to run super, um, with a constructor and so on. Okay, so we're back here, we know about points. Um, inside draw, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do two things. So draw all points will be a method that draws all the points. So I'll create that. And I'll loop over my points list. list.size and then I'll make a temporary point object where I'll say point list get i so I'm getting each point out of the list um, and then back when we were doing t-rex runner we actually gave our objects the ability to display themselves like point dot draw um, I'm not going to do that instead I'm just going to draw an ellipse where the points x y coordinates are so p dot get x p dot get y and then maybe 2020 so they're not too big. Um, and then I guess let's fill with black. All right, so inside the draw loop, I'm looping over all of the points in my points lists and I'm drawing them all. Um, but the point list starts out empty. So now let's say if mouse pressed, then let's make a new point object at the current mouse x mouse y coordinates and let's add it to the point list. Okay, let's see what this looks like so far. Cool, so I can sort of draw these things um, and each of these circles is actually its own object that's been added to my point list. Okay, so now it's time to do the part where I wanna save the game. So outside of draw, I'm going to create, a, well not creating, I'm overriding the key released method. Um, which runs automatically whenever I have been pressing a key and I release it. And I'll say if the key was the S key, um, that means save game, and so I'll save it. So here's where I want to save all points data to a file. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same thing that I did in the previous video. So let's make a uh, print writer called out. And I'm going to make a new file writer, and then I'm going to call this like save game .text. Now Let's import all the various things. Import, import, and then we'll have to do the try catch block. So far, so good. And uh, like I like to use a print, like a normal system that print line statement to show in the console, like 
first, what do I want my file to look like before I write it to the file? So I think what I wanna do is I want to loop over all of my point data. So just like I do, just that, like I do here inside draw all points, I might as well just copy that. So I'm gonna loop over my point list. I'm gonna get a point out, except now instead of displaying it as an ellipse, let's do system.out.println um, and I'm gonna print out p.getx and then a comma and a space and then a p.gety. And let's go ahead and run it. So if I hit S for save, nothing happens. But now if I add some things and I hit S for save, you see that it's displayed the XY coordinates of all of the points to the console. So that's what I want my file to look like because I want to save all of the point locations to a file. So instead of system.out.println, I'll just use my print writer and say out.println and that should do the same thing. Um, I am forgetting to close my print writer, so I'll close it at the end here. Um, and let's go ahead and run that much and see what it looks like. So I've got some data, I'll hit S to save it. Remember Eclipse doesn't automatically refresh, so we've got to right click and go to refresh. But now I can see, did I actually save my file anywhere? What was it supposed to be called? It's supposed to be called savegame.txt? Why don't I see it? Okay, upon some investigation, I have discovered that uh, it's saved inside my bin folder, which actually makes sense. Um, if you don't know what these class files are, these are the actual executable files that run when you press the green play button. Um, so when I said save game.txt, I didn't actually tell it the folder I wanted it to save in. I didn't have a path, I just had a file name. And so it saved this file name in the same folder as the program that's actually running, which is inside the bin folder. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me show you a brief thing you could do. Here we're in the bin folder. If I go up one folder, now I see this is like where example.txt from the last video was. All my Java files are inside the source folder. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say dot dot slash save game. The dot dot means go up a folder from wherever the code is being run from right now. So since it's being run inside of bin, I'm saying go up a folder and then save it in save game.txt. So let's go ahead and run it again, and hopefully this time we'll see it. So I've got some points, I'll hit S. I will say refresh. Great, and then here we see savegame.txt. And if I open it, it's just what was in the console. It's this list of the XY coordinates of all of my objects. If you wanted to, you could imagine like saving your game's high scores list uh, in a similar manner. Um, come back in the next video and we'll look at how we can load the file um, and refresh all the objects with new locations.